petroleum naphtha is an intermediate hydrocarbon liquid stream derived from the refining of crude oil. It is most usually desulfurized and then catalytically reformed, which rearranges or restructures the hydrocarbon molecules in the naphtha as well as breaking some of the molecules into smaller molecules to produce a high octane component of gasoline. There are hundreds of different petroleum crude oil sources worldwide and each crude oil has its own unique composition or assay. There are also hundreds of petroleum refineries worldwide and each of them is designed to process either a specific crude oil or specific types of crude oils. Naphtha is a general term as each refinery produces its own naphthas with their own unique initial and final boiling points and other physical and compositional characteristics. Naphthas may also be produced from other materials such as coal tar, shale deposits, tar sands and the destructive distillation of wood. The major source of petroleum naphtha in a petroleum refinery, the first unit process in a petroleum refinery is the crude oil distillation unit. The overhead liquid distillate from that unit is called virgin or straight run naphtha and that distillate is the largest source of naphtha in most petroleum refineries. The naphtha is a mixture of many different hydrocarbon compounds. It has an initial boiling point of about 35 degrees Celsius and a final boiling point of about 200 degrees Celsius, and it contains paraffin, naphthene and aromatic hydrocarbons ranging from those containing 4 carbon atoms to those containing about 10 or 11 carbon atoms. The virgin naphtha is often further distilled into two streams. A virgin light naphtha with an IBP of about 30 degrees Celsius and an FBP of about 145 degrees Celsius containing most of the hydrocarbons with six or less carbon atoms, a virgin heavy naphtha containing most of the hydrocarbons with more than six carbon atoms. The heavy naphtha has an IBP of about 140 degrees Celsius and an FBP of about 205 degrees Celsius. It is the virgin heavy naphtha that is usually processed in a catalytic reformer because the light naphtha has molecules with six or less carbon atoms which, when reformed, tend to crack into butane and lower molecular weight hydrocarbons which are not useful as high octane gasoline blending components. Also, the molecules with six carbon atoms tend to form aromatics which is undesirable because governmental environmental regulations in a number of countries limit the amount of aromatics that gasoline may contain. Types of virgin naphthas, the table below lists some typical virgin heavy naphthas, available for catalytic reforming, derived from various crude oils. It can be seen that they differ significantly in their content of paraffins, naphthenes and aromatics. Cracked naphthas, some refinery naphthas also contain some olefinic hydrocarbons, such as naphthas derived from the fluid catalytic cracking, vis breakers and coking processes used in many refineries. Those olefin-containing naphthas are often referred to as cracked naphthas. In some petroleum refineries, the cracked naphthas are desulfurized and catalytically reformed to produce additional high-octane gasoline components. Other uses, some petroleum refineries also produce small amounts of speciality naphthas for use as solvents, cleaning fluids, paint and varnish diluents, asphalt diluents, rubber industry solvents, dry cleaning, cigarette lighters, and portable camping stove and lantern fuels. Those speciality naphthas are subjected to various purification processes. Sometimes the speciality naphthas are called petroleum ether, petroleum spirits, mineral spirits, paraffin, benzene, exanes, ligroin, white oil or white gas, painter's naphtha, refined solvent naphtha and varnish makers and painter's naphtha. The best way to determine the boiling range and other compositional characteristics of any of the speciality naphthas is to read the material safety data sheet for the specific naphtha of interest. On a much larger scale, petroleum naphtha is also used in the petrochemicals industry as feedstock to steam reformers and steam crackers for the production of hydrogen, ethylene and other olefins. Natural gas is also used as feedstock to steam reformers and steam crackers. Safety. People can be exposed to petroleum naphtha in the workplace by breathing it in, swallowing it, skin contact, and eye contact. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration has set the legal limit for petroleum naphtha exposure in the workplace as 500 ppm over an 8-hour workday.
the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health has set a recommended exposure limit of 350 mg per meter 3 over an 8-hour workday and 1800 mg per meter 3 over 15 minutes. At levels of 1100 ppm, 10% of the lower explosive limit, petroleum naphtha is immediately dangerous to life and health. References This article incorporates material from the Citizendium article Petroleum Naphtha which is licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 imported license but not under the GFDL. External links, CDC, NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards, Petroleum Distillates.